Hey, child of God, lack, well, it's bad, it's evil, it's disgusting, it is potential robbing, destiny destroying, promise stealing, and, and it's still a bad four-letter word. Lack is, well, living in lack is not God's choice for you. It comes about by decisions you either made or failed to make. But here are seven ways to drive lack out of your life forever. Number one, where, whatever you do and wherever you go, God's plan is for you to lack for nothing. Deuteronomy chapter 2, verse 7 in the New Living Translation. For the Lord your God blessed you in everything you have done. He has watched your every step through this great wilderness. During these 40 years, the Lord your God has been with you and you have lacked nothing. Number two, the worst kind of lack that you can face, well, it's not in your cupboard, your checking account, your investment account, or your retirement fund. Listen to Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. If you reject knowledge, God will reject you. So a lack of knowledge is much worse than any other kind of lack. Third, your character qualities will also determine whether or not you live in lack. A lack of self-control always precedes a lack of finances. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 23, and the New Living Translation. He will die for a lack of self-control. He will be lost because of his great foolishness. The absence of faith also creates lack. Matthew chapter 13, verse 58, the Amplified Bible says, And he did not do many works of power because of their unbelief, their lack of faith in the divine mission of Jesus. Number four, stay out of lack by learning to associate with the right people. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22, New Living Translation. Plans go wrong for lack of advice, but many advisors bring success. Be around those who can encourage, exhort, edify, build you up, lift you up, and speak the pure of the power from the positive into your life on a daily basis. Number five, special scriptural instruction will guarantee that you will never live in lack. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 27, and the New Living Translation. Whoever gives to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to poverty will be cursed. Those who give to the poor will lack for nothing. When you help others, you are literally helping yourself. Number six, where God directs, He provides. Let me say that again. Where God directs, He provides. Luke chapter 22, verse 35, the Amplified Bible. And He said to them, When I sent you out with no purse or provision, bag or sandals, did you lack for anything? They answered, nothing. Number seven, you'll never have to settle for anything or less than God's best when you put your trust and your hope in Him. Judges chapter 18, verse 10 in the New Living Translation. When you get there, you'll find people living carefree lives. God has given us a spacious and fertile land lacking in nothing. These scripture verses doesn't say that you'll lack some. Or anything. It says you will lack for nothing, not a single thing. When you do what God tells you to do, when you obey the instructions in His Word, then you will lack for nothing. And that's what I call some rich thoughts.